Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we're going to take a look at how to prepare spaghetti squash in two different ways. First, we're going to prepare half of it into some cubed roasted hash, as well as we're going to make some spiralized noodles out of the other half. So, let's get into this recipe, y'all. <laughs> Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we're gonna be making half of the squash just roasted, seasoned roasted, and then we're gonna actually make some hash with these parts. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna need a few ingredients just to season this. We're gonna need some green seasoning, minced garlic, minced ginger, chicken base concentrate, and parsley. You're also gonna need some butter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in for a tablespoon of butter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that into a bowl, a microwave safe bowl, cause these items are gonna be going into the microwave. We're gonna be adding to this half a teaspoon of parsley, one teaspoon of chicken base, half a teaspoon of minced ginger, half a teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of green seasoning. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the microwave for 30 seconds just so it melts and everything is combined and I'll be back to show you what we're gonna and do. So I took the butter out of the microwave after the 30 seconds that I mentioned. So I'm just gonna stir it in because it's warm right now. It's just gonna melt off the rest of this butter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna generously scoop some tablespoons of this butter onto this squash this is spaghetti squash and we're gonna give it a mix so we put five tablespoons and then so yeah guys after we added our five tablespoons of that butter mixture onto our squash we're gonna give it a nice little mix tossing everything around making sure each piece gets a nice coating of this and we have our oven at this point on 350 we're gonna put these in for 40 minutes at 350. So yeah, after it's seasoned, we're gonna just be putting this out onto a greaseproof serving tray just like that. We're gonna try and flatten it out as nicely as possible. Yeah, make sure each piece has its own space so it has enough space to be cooked. I am as well going to be roasting the spaghetti squash, just half of it. So before I put it in there to roast, I'm also gonna give it a little bit of a basting with this butter. I'm gonna baste around the edges of the squash, followed by the core. So I'm gonna use, that was one tablespoon for the outside and two for the interior. We just let it drip down. So using that same spoon, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna massage this butter onto the rim of the spaghetti squash, as well as we're gonna kind of like scrape up what we put in there on the interior, just so it gets a nice coating of that. And it's everywhere throughout. We're gonna put this in the oven for that 40 minutes as well. And we're gonna make judgment calls at that point to see if everything's cooked. Hey y'all, so it's been about, uh, I'd say a good um, 40 minutes of the squash being roasted. So what we're gonna do, it's fully cooked at this point. So I'm gonna just carefully be removing it off of the foil. As you can see, it's spaghetti squash, so it wants to like, uh, noodle out itself however I don't want it that way so we're gonna just proceed with this hey hash. so this is the spaghetti squash hash that we made so this is ready to be served it's got a nice little roasted color to it and yeah so we're not gonna play around with that too much because we don't want it to shred out we want it to maintain its flavor its uh, shape now we're gonna go into this one so for this spaghetti squash, I usually just go in with a fork and I start peeling down the layers. Now because it's spaghetti squash, it will pull apart from the 
um, it will pull apart from the skin. It's fully cooked, which is good. And the skin is pretty soft, which you can tell it takes fingerprints. But anyways, so I just use my fork and I literally just noodle out the squash. Yeah, so we're just gonna keep doing that until we get it all off the 